Irish Football Fan TV. I'm joined here by Paul and we're here to discuss the playoffs. Um, are they going to happen as scheduled and are the Euros going to happen as scheduled or what do we think is going to happen, what do we want to happen? Yeah, we did a video on this on Friday and obviously this is a retake. Um, so we're just going to go back into it because people are probably wondering why we're only doing it now. But it, there was a fault with the camera, so we're just doing it again now. So yeah, um, there's obviously been, it spread like wildfire on Wednesday everything's just kind of shut down, football's closed down for yeah. the foreseeable future. The, the country, I mean, Slovakia is actually shut. You can't get into Slovakia. I, I, I assume, and I don't even know if it's possible, they could make an exception to allow a chartered FAI plane in with scheduled staff, with um, minimal staff. But I cannot see that happening. I just... As far as I'm concerned, the playoffs will not happen on the 26th of March. No, I don't think they're going to happen. Because sure, football in Ireland now is actually postponed until the 29th, at the at the very least or the minimum. That anything can happen yeah. in that regard. Obviously, that's terrible for League of Ireland clubs who, you know, rely on that type of money and stuff like that. And obviously, the national team, you know, people and, and are looking forward to going over this. You know, I know. And the way it's going, I think it's going to be a lot longer than the 29th. I mean, we don't know yet, but I I cannot see a ball being kicked. In April, even at mm. this rate. Yeah, well, we we were talking the other day. We were talking about being being played behind closed doors because it's changed so much since then. Now it, it won't be played at all, but it looks of it. Yeah, and I and, and I mean the other thing is on Tuesday, UEFA are having a meeting with all fifty five national federations, and uh, it looks almost certain they're going to postpone the Euros, and they're talking as of now, and they're talking possibly December, which I think. It seems ridiculous to me to play in the, the height of winter or else June 2021. And that has implications for the under-21s, for the women's championship, for a lot of things, for all the domestic leagues. But I, I, can't, I can't even see the Euros going ahead as planned. Yeah, no, definitely. And, and obviously there's, there's been a few women uh, uh, on the national team of Ireland who would said to like, private message me and obviously us on Instagram about it being like, you know, it's very unfair on the women if it does be pushed back to 2021 because obviously their Euros is going to be then uh, and then as you say uh, I mean if it goes I, I was just actually else. looking this up the women's Euros kicks off in England on the 7th of July and that would be the same day as a semi-final of Euro 2020 which would be Euro 2021 so also supposedly at Wembley um, and I think there are actually serious implications of I, they could, I, I suppose they could put the women's off for a week, but I think the qualifying, we're actually quite advanced in qualifying. We've played five of our eight games. We've only three to go. But I think Ukraine have only played three games, so they have a lot more to, to catch up on. And, and it's the same in other groups. It's, it's very skewed. So, And I cannot see the game against Germany going ahead next month either. And you're so, meant to go, is that you? Yeah, I've all booked. And uh, unfortunately, our lingus are still flying. I'm hoping to get a refund. But... Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen. I think I would imagine our playoffs are going to get postponed. The women's qualifiers are going to get postponed. The Euros are going to get postponed. And UEFA are going to have to come up with a new calendar. And as to me, I actually, I'm actually struggling to see when they can do the playoffs. Because they are talking about using June to, get, to finish the domestic leagues. And in that case, then there, there could be no international football uh, until September and I've, I've seen a few different scenarios uh, one uh, one recommendation I've seen I don't know how seriously this would be treated would be to put the four of us into the same nation's league group and the winners uh, so instead of having a semi-final with Slovakia and a final against Bosnia or Northern Ireland possibly throw the four of us in play home and away and after six games the winner of the group goes to the Euros uh, that won't work, obviously, if it's a December Euros. That's a possibility. But then that's very unfair in Bosnia, who have qualified for League A, and they're they're playing the Dutch among others. Um, th so I don't know. I, I. But do you cancel the Nations League? When do you play? When are the dates? Um, I, I. We're not going to play. I think it'll be confirmed on Tuesday. But I cannot see how we can play this month. Um, I don't think June is an option because they, they're they going to finish the domestic leagues, unless they decide not to finish the domestic leagues. Um, June isn't a UEFA international date either. It was meant to be just for friendlies. Um, I don't know, Paul, what do you think? When do you think we can play? 
Well, as I said, you kind of boxed off everything in regards of you know time frames and stuff like that. It's all going to pretty much come down to the meeting with UEFA on Tuesday, uh, which is Paddy's day, I believe, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, it'll be interesting because obviously by that stage, our country might be on lockdown, and there's a lot of talk of the country being on lockdown. The only good news is, I suppose, is that the fans have been uh, refunded their flight money. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, that's great. Yeah, because I know we were sitting here on Friday filming this, wondering whether we would get it or not. And you had actually got an email as soon as we finished filming that you got your refund. Now I haven't yeah. got mine because I got to Vienna, so I don't know what the story is there yet. But uh, I, I think uh, as I was reading, that, or even on the way over, Germany is actually shutting down now as well. I imagine Austria will follow suit. I, yeah. I think I don't think there'll be too many planes fly, planes flying around Europe. Yeah, but it's, it's an emergency and it is yeah. a crisis and sometimes, unfortunately, some things are bigger than football, although you, most of the time you think it's not, some things are bigger than football and in this case it looks like this is because some idiot over in Asia ate a bat. Well, I don't know how it happened, there's all We're sorts in this of situation. <laughs> okay. But yeah, like, yeah. as I say, it's, um, it's obviously annoying because it was something for, that people were looking forward to for so long. We were looking forward to going over, you know, um, my first away game. Uh, okay. and all that sort of jazz but uh, no it was it was something that we were really looking forward to and it's just it, it is annoying and now we like we're even going to struggle for content now because you know there's going to be no football to talk about you know we're, just, yeah. we're probably going to have to <laughs> dig up stuff from the past and start talking about that just to do it even if we're allowed out of the house so like, yeah I don't know I mean with uh, small gatherings I mean well it's two people okay I presume it is I don't know I think I that, mean, what are the government guidelines? Uh, yeah, what I guess come out and said today. So, I don't know. It's it, it's uh, it's a difficult one. It, it is going to be postponed to a later date. Like I can't see it being changed anything other than that. But you know, it's it's a matter of what happens now. And I suppose we're gonna. Have and, to and, and I even other. I mean, look. Obviously, look. This virus and people's lives are at risk, and it's far more important than football. But I actually believe that we actually may end up losing the Euros in Dublin. Um, if it goes to December, will they actually move it into one or two countries in particular? Um, if it goes to next June, I would hope, I really hope, it's probably a once in a lifetime opportunity for us to have a major championships in our home country, in our capital city. I think it's at risk. Um, possibly if, if I, I can't, well, okay, I cannot see UEFA continue with 12 teams in June 2020, 12, 12 nations in June 2021 to host it. Possibly it may go to England. In that case, you'd have a strong case for Dublin still hosting four games. And I presume Glasgow would still want the games. And then you use Old Trafford, you use Anfield, you use all the big grounds uh, across the water. Um, maybe, I mean, who knows what's going to happen. I, I would hate... From a personal, selfish point of view, I would hate to lose the games to have top quality football and hopefully involving us uh, here in Dublin. For the economy, it would be a total disaster, not to mind what yeah, the damage. Financially, yeah. yeah, financially, what the damage this virus is going to do to our economy. And then to lose the euros, which people are reckon is worth 100 million to the country. Um, and Noel Quinn spoke so you know positively about it with the, the, the launch up in Dundalk. He spoke about you know all the memories of the Euros because they obviously had the the exhibition up there you know in Dundalk, and um, he was talking about how much money it would take in for the country and stuff like that. Like compared to other sports, you know football's that big, that and globally yeah. to have a, a thing like the Euros, which is the second most watched. Um, uh, how do I say it? Speckham, uh, sporting event, sporting in the planet, event, yeah, yeah, it's huge on, it's uh, on, on TV, like after yeah. the World Cup. So the World Cup and the Euros is second. Yeah, do you know. And, so uh, and to have that in our country and, and showcasing our country as well. You know, yeah. not to mind the tens of thousands of fans traveling from the likes of Sweden, Poland, wherever else. But hopefully not from Slovakia or Bosnia or Northern Ireland because we want to be in it. But anyway, wherever they're traveling from, they'd be most welcome in Dublin. Um, well, to a degree, yeah. To a degree. Well, uh, I'm hoping it'll be us, obviously, and I'm sure all bias aside, everybody watching this will be the same. Yeah. Well, yeah. Th and, it, and it, again, it goes. To, it, it's it's I suppose all going to come down to what UEFA decide on Tuesday, and I think then the Premier League are meeting on Thursday, or maybe that's yeah, the Premier I, League and the EFL. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to. I mean, I wonder will it be a UEFA wide decision because. They, they have to decide about the domestic leagues. 
So either they finish them or they, they can them. And that will impact on... It's going to impact... They have to make a decision on the Champions League and the Europa League. What's going well, to gonna, happen it's there? It's going to affect everyone because if we don't have players, we've pl obviously got players in the Championship, Premier League. Um, you know, Serie A, which you mentioned the other day, they are on shutdown there as well. A lot of their players are playing in Serie A. You know, they keep uh, done their hand in. Yeah, well, I mean, if, if actually, if the playoffs do happen on the 26th of March and the 31st of March, they won't. they won't. But if they do... But, uh, Bosnia and Slovakia will be missing. Slovakia in particular will be missing about half their squad. Uh, and they've do, asked for it to be postponed, which is... Some yeah, I mean, well, they've six players playing in Italy, and obviously, if they're playing in Serie A, they've got to be among their best players. They, they, won't, they can't get out. They're on, they're on lockdown. There is just... I mean, things have to take precedence. But anyway, I don't, it's not going to happen, because I cannot see anything other than UEFA postponing the playoffs. Yeah. Well, I suppose we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that. You know, we're going to have to wait till, till Tuesday. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think should happen with the Euros, uh, with the playoffs, and um, how are you coping at home in isolation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.